I first got interested in leucine way back in graduate school when I realized it wasn't metabolized in liver. Okay, so that tells us something right away about mTOR. So the body has evolved to send leucine out to muscle as a specific muscle signal. If we look at mTOR, mTOR responds to a lot of different signals. It responds to insulin. It responds to carbohydrates, energy through something called AMP kinase. It responds to leucine and it responds to exercise, particularly resistance exercise. So what that tells us is that the regulation of mTOR is different in different tissues. In liver, it responds to insulin. In the pancreas, it responds to insulin. In cancer cells, it responds to insulin. But in muscle, it responds to leucine. And so the folks like Longo, who have looked at longevity, basically have used rodents which continuously eat 24 hours a day. You can wake up a mouse or a rat in the middle of the night and look at the stomach contents, and it will have just eaten. It's absorptive 24 hours a day. But as we were talking about earlier, humans actually eat at night and then go through a long fasting period. When you allow the animal models to eat continuously, what you do is activate insulin continuously. All the time. And that yeah. triggers mTOR in all of the tissues you don't want to trigger it in. But when you convert them to meal eating, like humans do, now what you do is you only trigger mTOR associated with meals, and it turns on and off. And so the issue is the worst case scenario, and this kind of gets back to vegetarians, Eating lots of small meals all day long is the worst thing you could possibly do for mTOR. What we want to do is have protein meals, probably three per day, where we turn it on and then let it turn off. Now we're doing the best we can for protecting muscle, which we know is probably the single most important thing for longevity. And we're trying to keep it shut off in the other tissues so where it's not important. What we've done some actual cancer studies, and we know that insulin is a far bigger risk. Carbohydrates are a far bigger risk for tumor promotion than protein is. So again, if you're motivated by bias, which Olongo is, <laughs> you basically will tell one story. But if we actually look at the balance, we know that higher protein, lower carb is actually the better way to go for longevity, body composition, and muscle health. And I think expanding on that, insulin, you know, when you are activating mTOR via insulin, with, which is carbohydrate consumption, this is more of a systemic activation where it sounds like when we are activating mTOR in the muscle, obviously we have muscles all over the body, but it is one specific organ, you know, a, an aggregate of muscles through the body. It's, it's, it's specific to muscle tissue. Exactly. And, and, and it's, becomes more specific as we get older. When we're 16 or 20, insulin is still a fairly big activator in skeletal muscle. But once we stop growing, we know that if you look at age 10 to age 20, to have insulin stimulate muscle protein synthesis, it would take four times as much insulin to do it. We all become insulin resistant as we get older. People think of insulin as some major regulator, but the reality is insulin is a safeguard for adults. If the body gets exposed to too much blood sugar, we have to rely on insulin to get it back down. Insulin doesn't regulate our blood sugar. It's a safeguard against excess. And if we continuously challenge that excess, that's what causes insulin resistance. If we expose the body to too much sugar, blood glucose day after day after day, muscle basically becomes insensitive. Glucose is in fact toxic in the body. We have to have it, but the body has a very real limit to it. The brain needs it, the red blood cells need it, but basically beyond that, we have very little way of getting rid of it other than extreme exercise. 
And so the, the muscles become insensitive, blood glucose goes up, and that's what is diabetes. You know, blood glucose, carbohydrates are something the body regulates very carefully, and it has its own disease, diabetes.